I feel uh, really excited about it and uh, I'm thankful for Tiz and, and everyone for, for pushing it through because it was something that, you know, when it when it comes up, I was I was excited straight away for it and the, the positive conversations I had with Tiz and, and Steve and yeah, I knew that this was the place I wanted to come back to. Um, can you just give us sort of like a, a rundown of the time frame, how, how it's um, come about? Yeah, um, obviously when I was up at Aberdeen, they signed a couple of strikers and I, I didn't want to be there any, any longer to, to sort of be that impact player. I wanted to, wanted to come down and, and really stamp my authority and, uh, and, and play games and, and sign for a manager that I know like, likes my game and I've um, you know, got a good relationship with. And it, it happened quickly, it was uh, as soon as, obviously it came aware that there was a chance of me leaving I had conversations with Tiz, I had conversations with other clubs as well too but it's sort of tunnel vision when, uh, when, t- when Tiz spoke to me and we, we got things going quite quickly at w- and at one point we didn't think it was going to happen but things were, there were stumbling blocks but we managed to get it done and, and uh, I'm very very happy about that. That was a disappointing thing about last time, it was only half a season I wish I joined uh, at the start of the season and now I've got that chance, obviously I missed a bit of pre-season but lads are flying at the moment so it's great to great to come to a team uh, where the where the energy and everything's uh is high and um I'm, yeah I'm just happy I'm here now moving forward I want to be a big part of this club's future um did you keep in, in contact with sort of like Exeter City's you know scores and how they did last last season yeah. I mean, obviously very close to getting promoted I know. to one yeah I was obviously I had a hectic season but I would have been down if to watch the games if uh if I could have and I keep in contact with most of the boys that are still here so and and a couple that have moved on but I've always kept an eye on them. It's a club. It's a club. It's where I felt I felt happiest. It's no coincidence. That's where I have played my best football and uh, want to come back here. And I'll, I know it's going to be tough, but I, I want to work as hard as possible to to pay back the uh, the faith that the managers put in me. It was it's a case of uh, choosing what was best for me and my family. Uh, last last season with Aberdeen was was a successful season. I enjoyed it, but this year I just decided that it was time to go and and it was time to really look after myself and and, and be a, a touch selfish in, in my own career. And I wanted to go to a club that I, where I believe the same things as the manager, and I know that there's good players and and this was the club that I really wanted to go and I'm my heart set on. So as soon as I knew that Tiz was interested, yeah, we jumped it as and as a family as well. And what's the welcome back been like? From the yeah, squad? It's, it's good. It's, it's great seeing old faces, everyone around the club, and I'm excited for that first home game and, and things like that. And it's it's sort of, even though I was only on loan here, it did feel like a home before. It felt like I was signed at this club before. That's how quickly things settled before. And there's still some, still still the same faces that can uh, reintegrate me into the squad. And it, I, I am happy to be here, and, and uh, it, I just hope that it can uh, be as successful as, as me last time personally, but even more successful as a team.